Take one. What's going on everybody? This is Stanley Parrish, Pistol Outflow Studios, and welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make those famous uh, signature logos or signature watermarks um, that a lot of photographers are using these days on their photos. Um, a lot of photographers are using this for branding. Um, some people are using them just to watermark the images to prevent you know, anyone from stealing their photos online. This does um, helps you stand out a little bit by having your own signature um, on your photos. So I'm gonna show you guys some examples right now. Okay, so those are just a few examples. Um, in order to pull this off, you wanna make sure you have some plain white paper and I recommend using a Sharpie. You can use a, um, an ink pen, but you'll get better results if you use a Sharpie. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and just draw my signature. Okay, so I have my signature written out, as you can see here. You got your signature written out on a piece of paper. So the next step is to take your cell phone and take a picture. Okay, so I took a picture of my signature uh, with my cell phone. I'm gonna email it to myself and I'll see you guys in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and jump right over to Photoshop right now. Okay, so right now I'm in Photoshop. I got my signature pulled up. And the first thing I'm gonna do is crop it. So I'm gonna take my crop tool. I'm just gonna drag over my signature, just like that. And we're gonna hit the check mark to confirm. Okay, then I'm, do then I'm gonna double click on my layer. I'm gonna hit okay. The next thing that I wanna do, I wanna make my background pure white. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to my levels. I'm gonna to go to image, adjustments, levels. And in your levels panel, you're gonna see three eyedropper icons over to the right, right here. So the eyedropper on the left, those are gonna be your shadows. The eyedropper in the middle, those are your midtones. The eyedropper, on the right, those are gonna be the highlights. So I'm gonna choose the eyedropper on the right. And when I click on my background, it's gonna make that background pure white. So I'm gonna click on it, bam. Okay. And I'm gonna move my, if you look over here where it says input levels, uh, this little switch on the left side, those are the shadows. The one in the middle, those are the mid-tones. The one on the right, those are the highlights. So I'm gonna drag my, my shadow in closer to the middle just to bring those blacks up just a little bit. Make it a little, little bit darker. Okay. And I'm gonna hit okay. So I got that where I want it. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I wanna actually remove the background. So to do that, I'm gonna go to select color range. I'm gonna take my eyedropper tool right here and I'm gonna select the white. And here you can play with the fuzziness. You see, if, if you put the fuzziness at zero, you see that that's not what you want. You see all those black dots. You don't wanna see all those black dots like that. You just want, you want a good clean image. So move it all the way to the right until it's nice and clean. I'm gonna go all the way up to 200. Okay, so I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So I can see here it's selected everything that's white. All, all of my white is selected. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit delete. Uh, I'm gonna hit delete a few times just to make sure it gets rid of all that white. So I'm gonna hit delete, let's say maybe about four or five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I actually don't want my signature to be black. I want it to be white. So I'm gonna hit Control I 
to invert the colors or you can go to image adjustments and invert as you can see here the shortcut for invert is control i so now it's white okay so the next thing you want to do is save this in the format um, that you can use later and that format is going to be png you want to save it as a png file don't save it as a jpeg because the png file is going to allow you to keep that transparent background okay so you want to go to file save as i'm going to name it um stanley signature watermark save it as a png file save just hit okay okay now i'm going to close it okay so now this is a photo i took um i don't know maybe last week sometime but you see i already have my name on here but it doesn't matter so now i'm going to go ahead and hit file i'm going to go to file uh, i'm going to hit uh open I'm just going to open that PNG file I just created. So here it is right here. And I'm just going to drag it over to my photo. And bam, there you go. Now you have your signature logo, your signature watermark. Uh, you can resize. I'm going to resize it and just put it right down here. Okay, and that's it. I hope you all were able to get something out of this tutorial. Um, if you like the content, please hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your friends and family. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep dreaming. Keep being creative.